Hello, this is Michelle with Michelle e. Bells Gaming, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about using the Retron 5 and the XRGB Mini Frame Meister with a CRT computer monitor. Now you might be asking yourself, why do this? There's several reasons for me. Uh, one of them is that the Retron 5 is really great for playing games that um, are not in English when you need to uh, apply patches to them. And that's the main thing for me because I have a large collection of Japanese game games, um, over 100 Super Famicom games as well as a number of Famicom, uh, Genesis, uh, Game Boy, and so on. And I have patches for most of them um, so that I can use the Retron 5 to do that. But then you've got to deal with the fact that the Retron 5 is HDMI output only, which means you won't be playing it on your old LC, on your old uh, CRT television if you've got one of those. The alternative to that is what I've got here. So what I have done is uh, set up the Retron 5 with the Frame Meister and the CRT monitor, as well as a stereo system. And I'm using a game called 8-Bit Music Power, which was just released about mm, two months ago, I think. Um, it's a music collection, of a Famicom music collection, that was done by a fan group here in Japan. And uh, it's, actual, it's on an actual cartridge, so you could buy that yourself if you're interested. Um, I recommend it. It's really quite good. So, I want to go ahead and explain to you how this setup works a little bit and how to get it really good. To start, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the main menu here. Okay. So I'm going to go to the return to the main menu and then I'm going to change cartridges. So move that. And just to start, I'm going to show you uh, Goemon on the Super Famicom. Now, the way I've got this set up is the Retron menu here has scan lines on, and I'll explain why I have those on in a second, um, with the aspect ra ratio set to stretch. And then everything else, the, you know, the, the overscan, the original resolution, those are off. Um, and I've got the sound enhancements on just because I, I wanted them. Uh, you don't necessarily need to have those on. But I did, it, I did it because I liked the way it sounded with this stereo system. So, with the aspect ratio is on stretch, and you think, why would it be on stretch? Well, the reason is because the Retron 5 is outputting an HD uh, signal. Uh, probably either 720p or 1080, but I, th I think it's 720 is what it outputs. Um, I guess I could find out, actually. Let's see here. If I pull up my menu here on the XRGB Mini Frame Meister, can go down to status, full status, and here you can see that it is in fact, um, the Ret Retron 5 is in fact outputting 720p. Now what I have done on the Retron 5 is I have set it to DVI mode. Now there's two output modes, HDMI and DVI mode. For most people they use HDMI output mode. And that's because they're usually using this on an HD TV, um, which is in fact, of course, widescreen. Uh, this is not widescreen, so instead I've got it in DVI output mode. Now DVI output mode doesn't really change much as far as how the game, uh, how the system works. But what it does do is give you the standard resolutions of a computer monitor instead of the resolutions of HD televisions. This allows you to put it in uh, um, resolutions that are designed for things like this CRT television and are also in 4 to 3 aspect ratio instead of the 16 to 9. Uh, you could set this on any of these. 640 by 480 will give you a very classic look for the actual monitor itself because it will give you uh, um, scan lines that are actually built into the monitor. but the downside to that is that on some games with a lot of text, the text actually looks slightly off because it doesn't quite match the original resolution. Uh, for 1080 by 10, uh, 1280 by 1024, I think this is the best resolution for doing this. Um, so I've got it in that. And then I've got the image mode set to picture. The aspect ratio is set to 4 to 3. Now what this is doing is, is it's taking the full screen widescreen image from the Retron 
and it's converting it back down to a four to three acid ratio. And that's why you need this set, to, the Retron set to stretch. Otherwise, you get borders on the side, which you don't need. The screen set I have just set on standard. And then if you have any uh, overscan, that can be adjusted in the monitor settings in, in most monitors from this time period. They have a horizontal size and vertical size. Then if you need to adjust the brightness or contrast at all, you can do that on your monitor. This is not the, the best monitor in the world, but it does pretty well. Okay. So now we're going to pull up Goem on here. I'm going to tell it to reset. Okay. I think it's going to... No, it's not going to reset. Okay. So I don't know why it doesn't seem to want to reset whenever I do that, but I'm going to go ahead and reset it now. So here you can see the original, the classic Konami uh, logo, and it looks the way it's supposed to with the scan lines and so on. Maybe you can't see the scan lines so well with this particular video, but they're there and they look nice, I can assure you. So we're going to load up a single player game, and I'll go into one of these. Okay. One of the reasons I wanted to show you the Go Goemon game in particular was that I wanted you to get a feel for the, the colors, how bright and vivid they are on here. Now this isn't quite as good as an actual um, CRT television because CRT television has some, some pixel blurring and things that are actually sort of downsides of the CRT television that the game designers used to sort of uh, enhance the image um, and make it look better in a weird sort of low quality kind of way. Anyway, you don't have that here, but what you do have is something that looks as classic as you can possibly get it and still has that, you know, CRT look to it all, the right aspect ratio and so on, uh, without looking terrible or stretched or so on. Now, there is a, a series of adapters that I've seen online that are designed for um, converting from HDMI down to a standard composite AV. Um, but the problem with those, I've tried several of them, and even the most expensive ones, they have a really bad, really bad screen flicker, and it basically ruins it. You almost can't play the games. Just to give you another idea, I'm going to put in Final Fantasy VI. Now this is a game that I actually could load up a translation uh, for um, using both either the original game's English translation or a uh, fan translation, but I'm not going to do that. I just have it in Japanese. I'm going to turn up the sound just a little bit so you can get a good idea for how nice it sounds and sort of get an idea for the picture quality. This particular opening has always been really nice and I've always appreciated it greatly. It's always uh, stuck in my mind. It's a very memorable part of my childhood, being in, you know, high school and playing this game for the first time. So as you can see, that sounds nice and it looks nice. I'm going to go ahead and load up a game save here. So normally this game has a kind of washed out look on a lot of TVs. Um, here, you know, adjusting the settings and things, it doesn't look nearly as washed out as it does look on other uh, systems at times. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the party here. Now, of course, if you have an actual Super Nintendo, it could look better. Um, I'm not, that's weird. I didn't notice that uh, color scheme for the menu. Maybe it's a glitch from the Retron 5, I'm not sure. Didn't notice that last time I was playing, but anyway. But yeah, this looks really good, it sounds really good, and if you want to play patches uh, on something that looks as close as you can to an actual CRT television, this really is the best way to go, in my opinion. Let me go ahead and see if I can get to a dungeon here. 
don't know what that means. This is one of my favorite Final Fantasy battle music themes. So yes, if you want to uh, get your Retron 5 to have that really classic look, and you just happen to have a Frame Meister, uh, what you need is a CRT computer monitor, and you need this adapter. This is a HDMI to VGA adapter, and it's also got on the side a sound, uh, an, a regular audio jack, um, which is what I've got plugged up to the stereo. The Retron 5 does not have any audio outputs of its own. It's all HDMI, so you're going to need that. You basically just put the HDMI from the Retron 5 directly into the Frame Meister's HDMI in one. Then you adjust it in here. And on here, you plug in your adapter to your CRT monitor and your sound. Now, I will say that this adapter sometimes has some clicking noises on it. I'm not sure if it's a problem with the adapter or the Frame Meister. But I actually turned off and on the Frame Meister a couple times and got it to work without any problem after that. So, I'm not sure what the deal is with that, but oh well. Now again, if you have a Super Nintendo and you have all the games and you have, can play them, understand them, go right ahead. It will look a little bit better, but I still think this is sort of the best alternative, especially if you really need that Retron 5 and you want something that doesn't look like, uh, you know, an L LCD HD TV. So, this has been Shelly Bells Gaming. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.